Unit 1 Lesson 3 The cell The cell it is the building unit of the living organism body The body of the living organism as human, animals or plants compose of systems like digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system in human and animals like shoot system, root system in plants each system composed of organs like stomach like small intestine in digestive system lung trachea in respiratory system root in root system stem leaves in shoot system shoot system it is the part which exists above the soil each organ composed of tissues and each tissues composed of cells so the cells it is a building unit of any living organism but there is two types of cells there are two types of cells animal cell and the plant cell animal cell building unit of animal body and the plant cell building unit of plant body like this digestive system consists of stomach stomach consists of uh, tissues tissues composed of cells for example when we take the epidermal tissue of onion plant leaf under the microscope we see that it consists of similar cells like this cells beside cells beside cells beside cells they are arranged in uh, beside each other they are arranged beside each other like this so plant tissue consists of group of plant cells now we want to take the difference between animal cell and the plant cell there are similarities and differences between the components in plant cell and animal cell first the similarities between them there is nucleus nucleus cytoplasm cytoplasm uh, plasma membrane first the number one Nucleus. Nucleus is the dark oval shaped body that help in organize, help in control all biological operation in the cell. All biological operation like uh, respiration, which the plant need to take energy to get energy, and it is responsible for the cell division. So the nucleus organize all the biological operation in the cell control the biological operation in the cell and responsible for the cell division number two cytoplasm it is the liquid it is the fluid that fills the cell liquid that fills the cell and all biological operation occur in it all biological operation in the cells exist or occur sorry occur in the cytoplasm number three plasma membrane it is the membrane that surrounds the cytoplasm membrane surrounds the cytoplasm but in uh, animal cell surrounds the cytoplasm from outside the cell and in the plant cell surrounds the cytoplasm from inside what is the function of plasma membrane it control all the substances that enter or leave the cell but there are difference differences between plant cell and animal cell in plant cell there are cell wall which give the plant cell definite shape there are uh, chloroplasts which has a green color and absorb sunlight to make uh, its own food by photosynthesis process and there is big sub vacuoles which store inside it the material needed for making food by photosynthesis and in the animal cell there is small vacuoles not big vacuoles in plant cells there is, there is big sub vacuoles but in animal cell there is a small vacuoles so now we want to make comparison between animal cell and the plant cell like this cell wall exists in plant not in animal cell membrane or nucleus cytoplasm exists in animal and the plant cell 
uh, chloroplast in plant not in animal will be a vacuole in plant non, not animal and the small vacuole exists in animal cell not in plant cell cells are different in shape in size why because they are different in function because they are different in function like the cells in uh, tongue not similar to uh, the cells in skin so they are different in their function so the cells of one tissue are similar the same tissue are similar in shape and function but they are different from the cells of another tissues like the cells in skin are not similar the cells in tongue human animal and the plants are multicellular organism mean that they consist of more cells consist of group of cells but there are another organism which is unicellular organism mean that this organism this organism consists of one cells only such as bacteria such as uh, yeast they can't be seen by eyes Unicellular organism divide in two, ty two, two types harmful organism and useful organism harmful organism as bacteria which uh, causes disease we useful organism which causes such as bacteria which is used in making yogurt cheese uh, yeast used in making bread and alcohol in this lesson we wanted to take yeast fungs only Yes, the function unit is microorganism which consists of one cells. It is made up of cell wall, nucleus, vacuoles, cytoplasm. What are the importance of this yeast fungs? Yeast fungs used in making a bread. Why? Because it produces carbon dioxide gas, which make the bread light, porous, and tasty and is used in making alcohol which changes sugar solution into alcohol how yeast add to sugar solution and they change it into alcohol information by using simple microscope we can see all the cell component but by using electronic microscope we can see all the cell component now we want to to watch this video. Comparison between plant and animal cell. In this module, you will learn about the differences between plant and animal cell. Cell as we already know is the structural and functional unit of life. Both plants and animals are made of cells. However, a plant cell and an animal cell are different from each other. Let us look at a plant cell and an animal cell closely and compare them. As you can see, both plant and animal cells appear different from outside. On the outside, a plant cell is surrounded by a cell wall. Next to the cell wall, a cell membrane is present. However, in case of an animal cell, no cell wall is present only the cell membrane surrounds the cell let us now go inside a plant cell and an animal cell and see how they differ from inside if you look at both the cells carefully you can see spaces in both plant and animal cells however in case of a plant cell there is only one large space while in case of an animal cell there are several small spaces present these spaces are called vacuoles. So, a plant cell has one large vacuole, whereas an animal cell has multiple smaller vacuoles. In addition, a plant cell contains several colored structures that are not present in an animal cell. These structures are scattered in the cytoplasm. These are called plastids. Some of these plastids have a special green pigment called chlorophyll. 
The chlorophyll provides color to the leaves and helps in the process of photosynthesis. The plastids having chlorophyll are called chloroplasts. So, one of the major differences between a plant cell and an animal cell is the presence of plastids. Let's recap. A plant cell is different from an animal cell. A plant cell has one large vacuole, whereas an animal cell has multiple smaller vacuoles. There are certain structures that are present in a plant cell, but not in an animal cell. These include the cell wall and plastids.